Zach Friend is a Democratic strategist and former spokesperson at Obama for America. He joins me now from San Francisco. All right, Zach, so we heard Elizabeth Warren there. Does that sound like someone who is not running for president in 2020? Look, I don't think you write books unless you're planning on uh, running for president. I think that Senator Warren is clearly trying to write a blueprint for messaging. It gives her an opportunity to do a book tour and also gives her an opportunity, quite frankly, to test those messages out. Uh, and she's clearly running on a populist middle class message. And I think it's something that right now uh, in the times we're in will definitely resonate. Well, a recent poll of New Hampshire voters showed that Warren would be the front runner if the Democratic presidential primary were held now. She tops former Vice President Joe Biden and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Zach, do these numbers mean much to potential candidates more than a year out from the presidential election? No, right now these kinds of polls are just popularity contests, people that have been on TV and people that are really resonating with the base. I mean, I'd say two years is a lifetime in mm -hmm. politics and a lot can happen between now and then. We don't know what's going to happen uh, at the presidential level, even with the current president, and then we definitely don't know within the Democratic Party what's going to shake out. But we have seen this play out before. In 2004, it wasn't clear who the Democratic frontrunner would be come 2008 after we had lost that election, and uh, Senator Obama emerged. And the same thing happened with the Republicans in, in 2012. So I think right now what you're just simply seeing post-2016 is the Democratic Party really just looking for a standard bearer. And I think a lot of people will enter the race, a lot of messages will be tested, and we'll see who in a couple of years ends up on top. Well, both Senator Warren and independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont are up for re-election this year. Should they be campaigning differently now if they also want to run in 2020? Well, that's a great question. I actually think that they really do have different approaches. I think that uh, Senator Sanders already has a national profile that's different from Senator Warren. I mean, he's already run a presidential campaign that, that was almost successful as far as uh, getting the nomination goes. Senator Warren still needs to show that she can win re-election in her state. I don't think that's really going to be that big of a problem. But the more that she wins by, I think, helps solidify her position as somebody that can actually uh, be a front runner for the Democratic nomination. And quite frankly, uh, that's that's why I, I suspect she's going to spend a lot more time in Massachusetts over the next couple months to ensure that she does win handedly. You mentioned there are different approaches. Both are expected to run in 2020. What are the merits of each of their approaches? Well, I think that both of them are trying to work on a different kind of grassroots model. I mean, you, could, you saw with both Obama in 08 and 12, and you saw with President Trump in 2016 that the most effective campaign in many respects is going uh, on the ground and doing a grassroots model. Uh, you know, Senator Sanders raised a lot of money from mm -hmm. very small donors and really had an activated base. I see the same approach in their current senatorial campaigns, the, the way that Senator Sanders is still doing these town halls across the country. He's really trying to energize the base to reinvigorate that base for his presidential campaign. But we'll see. There's, these aren't the only two that I, I know that will be toward the top of the ticket, so we'll definitely see who emerges on top. Well, how much of what Sanders or Warren says now will really shape their potential presidential races or what the party focuses on ahead of 2020? You know, actually, I think that one of the most difficult things for both Senator Warren and Senator Sanders is just simply trying to break through the airtime with this current president. The president has been very successful, in essence, of blocking out the sun. I mean, in, in getting a narrative through in this situation for the Democratic Party has been very difficult. And you see that the narratives that get covered are, in some respects, when the most extreme positions are actually taken. That seems to be how you break through. So I don't know that right now uh, the messaging that's happening is really going to be indicative of the messaging come 2020. But I think in order to get coverage, the reason that you're seeing this strong populist theme and, and the strong populist theme is because that's how you break through in this current media climate. Yeah, it's certainly been a nonstop news cycle, just one continuous um, <laughs> a, a spate of news. All right, Zach Friend, thank you.